So you said that you would like to do a point a joint podcast with Darren G. What would the purpose of that be? Because he's probably going to watch this. Listen to this, yeah, 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 right? It would be an interesting take. Yeah, if I did a po and this is why it would be an interesting take for several reasons. First off, yeah, yeah, right. He's from he's from L five. I'm from L eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's twenty years between us. Yeah, yeah, right. He's been in care. I've been in care. Yeah, he's been to prison longer than me. I've been to prison. Yeah, yeah, right. He's victim to what I was the victim of from 2008 to 2013. Yeah, all the things that he's saying about the kids being desensitized and becoming in inhuman. I was saying in 2008, I was saying when he was a kid that it was going to happen if we didn't get a grip of it. Yeah, and it was going to get worse and get out of hand. Yeah, right. And I was mullered for it. Yeah, yeah, I was mullered for it. He was, he was mullered for it. Yeah, yeah, right. One of the reasons I want, I'd want to do a podcast with him is that if he sits as close to me as you are now, yeah, yeah right. He will get a flavour that that I've got no agenda against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want him to pop wide open. Yeah, 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 right. And I can advise him and counsel him. Yeah, right. On how to deal with this stuff because I spoke with him on the phone. A guy called Cody. Put, uh, put him on the phone, phone with me and have a conversation with him when he was living in L4 and, he, and, and the best is Ken and tried to kill him. Yeah, right. And he was at his tether's end. He's not a he's not a scared kid. He's not a coward. Yeah, you're right. But it's constant for him. You get me? It's constant for him. Yeah, and he doesn't know where it's coming from. And I understand. I'm not offended that he didn't want to speak to me. I'm not offended because I understand where his head's at. The benefits of me and him doing a podcast together, yeah, right, would be more for, beneficial for him. Yeah, right. Because I could uncle him up about what he's going through and, and, and where he's going. He believes that everybody wants to cash in on what he's doing on him. Yeah, right. He's got serious trust issues because of what's got gone on gone, gone on with him. Yeah, right, right. I don't want nothing from him. I just wanna I just wanna let him continue with his his, his message. Yeah, yeah. And have have a bit of a life, yeah, right. Without always worrying about getting a bullet in the face. You understand? Yeah. And and the best thing he did was leave Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, and go around on his bike because once you get out of that, it, 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 it's giving a, a little bit more of a re relaxing time. And that's why I wanted to reach out to him because I could see what was happening to him because all he's, all he's trying to do is save kids and look at the hate he's getting. But he's got more love than hate. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's just empty vessels do what? They make the most noise, don't they? Yeah, they make the, the, the dumb. It's like, it's like, um, <laughs> my, my cousin he said to me have you read the comments I said I don't fucking read them comments about me why do I want to read them comments I know what they're going to fucking say yeah 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 right and they're just shitheads yeah right a lot of them don't like me because I'm a slick <laughs> yeah yeah uh, 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 and they just don't like black people I've never let racism be my problem racism is the racist problem you understand don't get me wrong I had my period of anti whites I really did you're right, right, but as I be become mature and educated, I understand that race is a, race is a social construction, and racism, yeah, right, is part of that social construction, and it's absolute bollocks. It's absolute, it's absolute bollocks. We're, we're the same. You understand? We have just got different skin colours. I'm, I'm, I don't, I, because I can point racism out, doesn't make me a racist. Yeah, right? because I don't buy into it. Yeah, yeah right, because I don't want. Equality, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck are you to give me equality? I took it years ago. Yeah, I'm equal to anybody. Yeah, you're right. I go where I want. I do what I want, and I'm a happy guy. Yeah, you're right. And um, uh, um, I actually love this country. I love living in this country. I love the ordinary people in this country. It's the elected officials that we've trusted to look after us that I have a problem with. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That they're pointing at me while they're filling the bag. Yeah, look at him over there. Look at him over there. I seen an, I seen a good uh, stat the other day about immigrants, immigrants claiming benefit, and the maximum that that's paid is eighty six million a year. It's eighty six million a year, which is a drop in the ocean when you think what these <laughs> people have just done. So they're like they're taking your jobs. Yeah, yeah, twenty biscuits, twenty twenty biscuits. Yeah, yeah, on the table. Yeah, yeah. The 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 bankers and the politician, yeah, yeah, take nineteen biscuits. 
Yeah, and then they say to the workers, look at the immigrants that have to your biscuit. You get me? And that's what's happening. Keep the masses divided. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what's, what's happening. So, um, I've spoke about uh, the charity that I'm opening up. That's what I wanted to speak about. I've spoke about g giving the American audience a little bit of, of, of my flavour. Yeah. Uh, um, and I'm up for that reprinting thing yeah, yeah, that, that we spoke about. And for me, um, Sean, it's all a means to an end. Yeah, keeping myself current, keeping up my profile, yeah, you're right, right, because I haven't given up hope of, of the film being made. Yeah, I have a production company called Massive and Agile Media, MAM, which is MAM, a tribute to my mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made a couple of programs already. Um, and... and why not me? Yeah, that's what I have. I've always said that. Why not me? Yeah, and that will give us the revenue because I don't want nothing from central governments. I don't want nothing from local governments. I don't want no help from anybody. It's like one of the things that annoy me. Yeah, yeah. When when they talk about reparations and black people and and, and they want something for nothing, I don't want to fuck all of you. Yeah, I don't fuck all of the governments. I don't fuck all of uh, of repatriations. Uh, I've stood on my own two feet since I was eleven. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I look after me and look after mine. Yeah, you're right. And I don't want no handouts. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because I'm a man. Yeah, you're right. So don't don't talk that crap to me. Yeah, you're right. Go and talk that crap to somebody who's got the handouts in in, in the door queue. Yeah. So they 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 my personal philosophies. Yeah, yeah. I've realised that it's okay to be vulnerable. It took me a long time to to to, to understand that you yeah, right and be vulnerable because when I was a vulnerable child, those whose responsibility was for look to look after me were trying to fuck me. You understand? And I don't mean beat me up. You understand? Yeah. So so and and then. It, it, it's like, it's like I said to you when I made documentary, it, when, I, when, when, I, when I took the photograph of the young pandas that are being a book, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, a timeline in, in my mind, yeah, yeah, right, where certain things happen, yeah, right, and it's like a destiny revealing itself, yeah, 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 yeah. and I'm marked, I'm marked for an abundance. I could say to you, see, and I'll give you an example of, of my time and then date stamp and everything. Yeah. I could say to you, I want, in one weekend, I spoke to a hundred million people. And you could go a hundred million people. That's a lot of people, Stephen. How the hell did you do that? August the 18th, August the 18th, 2012, Olympics time, Ivan the Holyfield's over here. Yeah, I took him down to Radio City. They tried to kick me out and just interview him. I said, you're mad easy with me. They cut me out of the thing, yo. So anyway, I went on to Sky, I went to Sky News. The Sky News guy, guy called uh, uh, Bob, he says to me, he says, Stephen, we want to interview Evander on, on the Friday and you on the Saturday. So I say to myself, the fuck are me over did again? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't about me. I had Evander Holyfield. A boxer talking about kids joining in karate. Yeah, I had him doing that on Sky TV News. So I let them go ahead and do it. Yeah. Sunday morning, the car comes for me. Get in. I get in the car, they're driving, and, he, and he, the driver's he's a very pleasant guy, and he's driving, and he goes, Do you know, Mr. French, that when you go on Sky TV News today, that you'll be speaking to 50 million people? Wait. There's a guy called Bishop Ebby in 2000. This, that's 2012. In 2009, Bishop Ebby said to me, he's a black shit that I go to. He said, you're going to speak to millions. You're going to speak to hundreds of millions in a weekend. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, you're just you're just one of those Afro priests that's trying to get his hand in my pocket. Yeah, right. That's with my bad mind I was thinking. And he flashes into my mind as I'm sitting in this, in this car. And this guy says, you're going to be speaking to 50 million people. And I did. Yeah, and I told him about Bob Diamond. I told him about the judges. I told him about the blame. Yeah, yeah. The guy said to me, 
He said, how does that filter down? I said, of course it filters down. The guy in the news, he, he, I flustered him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just, he tried to cut me off. And I said to him, you don't know what you're talking about, mate. Uh, um, then on the Sunday, Radio Europe, who also has 50 million listeners, I repeated him in messages. So that makes 100 million people, doesn't it? <laughs> in a weekend, that's, and, 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 and if you go online, and you, and you put in August 2012, Evander Holyfield, it'll come up. <laughs> it'll come up. They've took my clip down. Yeah, yeah, right. But it'll come up and it'll say he's with me. Get your eyes. If you go on, to, if you uh, uh, type in Radio Europe, the same dates, Stephen French interview, it'll come up. Yeah, right. I can prove what I say. Yeah, right. And as fantastical as it sounds, and I was delivering, I delivered a message of peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A triple G thing it was. Yeah. Get guns gone. Speaking at Liverpool University, three, it's a 3G thing, baby. Yeah, yeah. I had all the lyrics uh, 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 to go with it. Uh, uh, um, and my my gangsterism caught up with me. Yeah, yeah. And I had to turn gangster on some people that threatened my family. Yeah, yeah. That was 213. Yeah. And it took me this seven years with three years prison to be back rapping on that door again. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm rapping on that door, a more experienced man. Yeah, right. I still got the same drive. I've still got the same energy. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm still uh, um, wanting to develop a legacy from a grassroots movement. Yeah, yeah, to improve the plight of my own. And and I don't think that's a bad thing. But people want to run you down and, and crash you down for it. And, and that's why I would want to speak to to young Darren because he's at the same he's at the same place. You get me? And and and, and there's there's so much similarities in our life. You get right, right? But then there's the racial divide as well. He's a black guy. He's a white guy, and I'm a black guy. Yeah. What do you say to the young people watching this who are tempted into drugs, drug dealing, and crime? Um, it's as simple as this. Yeah, 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 right. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Yeah, stay at school. Yeah, 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 right. Get an education. Yeah, 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 right. And learn a skill. Yeah, learn a skill that you can that you can apply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get an apprenticeship. Back in um, back in the seventies, Margaret Thatcher brought out a thing called the Job Creation Program (JCP). Yeah, yeah, right. Where you where you could go and learn to be a painter or learn to learn something for the year, go to college, day release to college. Yeah, yeah. I took advantage of that. Yeah, right. And if I ever come unstuck, I could be a painter and decorator because I've got that skill. Yeah, 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 right. You've got to have a transferable skill to provide for yourself. Yeah, yeah, right. And 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 then it comes back to what we're talking again, yeah, right, about about the older generations and those in positions of authority and power. Yeah. Creating the paradigm that we can all lock into and do that but it it doesn't exist you're right so then you've got this black economy that everybody's fought, falling into you're right i know i know 100 percent the police like it the way it the way it is you're right they're not interested in solving the problems status they're, quo makes they're, money yeah they're interested in getting money they're interested in putting people in prison you understand i believe with the new legislation with regards to you can't go in and you can't go there we're actually very close to a police state very very close to a police state and um, second waves coming through yeah, yeah right as second wave comes through yeah 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 it will get the 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 enforcement is going to get the difference so i was arguing with some guy online and, and he says he's, and i said to him papers please what's you because because what's his name bill gates now wants a digital certificate to say you've had all your shots or you can't go to the gym, you can't go for sport, you can't work, you can't travel. Unless... So what's the difference between them and the Nazis with the gun asking for your papers, please? Yeah, I got told the Nazis had the army behind them. We haven't got the army. So I sent a lot of picture of the army on, on, on the streets in Manchester. In, yeah. in relation to giving advice to young people then, I had a guest on recently and he said there was some kids set up drug dealing. The Albanians showed up, took one of their eyeballs out. How dangerous is drug dealing now versus how it was?
That all relates to the fall of communism. You're right. And when 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 the Berlin Wall down fell, fell down and, and the fall of co communists went down, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The influx of Eastern European weapons into this country, Tokarov's seven point six, yeah, 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 Russian rifles, yeah, 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 right, right. You could get them for buttons, yeah, yeah, which sent the levels of violence up, yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, that also released a set a, a set of criminals from Eastern Europe, yeah, yeah, right, right, that just came across, across Europe. Now, them people had been under the regime, yeah, yeah, right. Them people had been under con conditions, yeah, yeah, right. And them people are ruthless, yeah. Albanians, yeah. Drug dealing now, yeah, is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, because if you want to be involved in drug deal, yeah, yeah, there's somebody that'll take your eye out. Yeah, 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 for that corner. Yeah, yeah, right. It's it, it it's it's ten times more violent. I wouldn't last five minutes now. Yeah, I wouldn't I'd, I'd be shot sitting in the cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wouldn't have you they wouldn't tolerate that now, you understand? They wouldn't tolerate somebody doing that, you'd just be killed. Yeah, right. Because people are being people are being killed, yeah, right, for two hundred quid cocktails.